God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. I'm glad that we can worship and praise God together. Welcome to the family. You are generous givers. Thank you. Your generosity allows this congregation to be in ministry in this community and around the world. Bishop Hagia and the cabinet have graciously prepared the worship service today. They're sharing a word of hope and encouraging pastors and worship teams to enjoy a Sabbath rest from worship preparation. The time has come to say farewell to Joe Buttermeyer. I have invited Joe to share some words about his time in this congregation. Joe came out to Canoga Park 63 years ago from South Dakota. He started looking for a church and found a Methodist church in Canoga Park. There were about 20 people in the choir and they were all so nice and fun. There was a ceiling with a concave shape that allowed them to hear one another better. Some other members of the church family were there too, Midge Herder, Nancy Longman Johnson, and Glenine Rowe. When the congregation discovered our current location, they purchased it from the Cates family. They built a multi-purpose building that became a community resource as well as a place for banquets. Tony Smith directed the building process for the contractors, and Joe was her right-hand man. Joe also had fun working with the outreach group. Bob Ramatka, Ray Wilkins, Sandra Davenis, Virgin Ingberg, Margaret Cates, Irene Zalea, and the pastor were all part of the team. Joe has still been having fun singing with the choir all these years later. Says he's going to miss everyone and looks forward to participating in worship. He and Sylvia are moving to New Hampshire, just four miles away from their eldest daughter, Deborah, and they look forward to the changing seasons. I invite Paul Cady to share his words of appreciation for Joe's ministry among us. Well, it is with great sadness that I have to say that we are losing a dear friend of ours from the choir who is moving away, Joe Budemeyer has been with this choir for 62 years. What an amazing commitment. 62 years sitting right back there on the back row. 
Joe, we want to thank you so much for all your years of commitment to the choir and your dedication of, of being here. Many times I, I would be at choir practice and get there and Joe had been there for 10, 15 minutes, just either getting the room warm or just, just being ready. But he was so anxious to be at the choir and you're so going to be missed, Joe. We wish you all the, the luck in the world. Have a wonderful trip. And know that you have a spot right back there anytime you want to come back. Best of luck to you. Thank you so much for 62 years of commitment. For a time, Joe has lived with us. We have shared good times and bad. We've worshiped and praised God. Joe has added so much to our lives. We're going to miss his laughter and his love and his music. We feel sadness at his leaving, and yet we rejoice with Joe in this new stage of his life. Let us pray. O oh God, your love for us is from everlasting to everlasting. We give you thanks for our time together and for cherished memories. O oh God, we place Joe and his wife Sylvia into your strong and loving hands as they leave this church family. Keep them in health and safety and peace. Through Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. I invite our church family to send words of parting to Joe and Sylvia. I look forward to our next gathering. Until we meet again, Stay at home when you can and watch out for one another.